So this this is our prep station. As you can see, our kitchen's kind of small. So we got to work with what we got. So if you saw our previous videos, you know that we just went to Disneyland and we went to the Blue Bayou. And last year when we went to the Blue Bayou, Steve had some gumbo that he absolutely loved and he was hoping to get it again. And they were out of the gumbo, or actually they weren't, they weren't, it wasn't on the menu, they weren't serving it anymore. So Steve was a little disappointed that there was no gumbo. So he started researching some recipes and decided, heck, I'll make it myself. So we came across a recipe that we both liked, and we decided we'd go ahead and make it today for our Saturday dinner. So right now he's doing the roux, and the recipe calls for one cup of canola oil and one cup of all-purpose flour. And basically that's to make the roux and basically you just stir it until it turns brown. It could take quite some time on medium low heat. So we'll see how we do with this. We've never made gumbo before. I've never made roux before. <laughs> I've seen it then, so we'll see. I'm not good at doing two. I'm not good at doing two things at once. We'll know when. I'll know when. I want dark. I want a dark roux. I watched some people do it, and it looks like they said ideal roux looks like chocolate. So now he's stirring and stirring, <laughs> and, stirring. and stirring. It'll be a little while. Very labor intensive. It says, they claim it takes 15 minutes on that recipe that I have, but some of the other YouTubers I've seen said it takes up like up to an hour to get it. Well, some of them, they try to go to a, like a chocolate, chocolate color. My recipe is just saying to go to a peanut butter, but I'm already at peanut butter. But all the, uh, the like good Cajun recipes I've seen says to try to take it to like a reddish brown to a chocolate color for you know better flavor. So that's what I'd like to do. So we'll see how long that takes. My arm got tired, so I put her to work. <laughs> this is like a mocha color, not peanut butter yet. Is it getting there? Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not peanut butter. Not quite peanut butter. But it was supposed to go for like reddish brown. We're only about, what, five minutes in? Maybe 10. Maybe 10. Well, can't wait to see what it looks like. 20 minutes later. It's definitely browner. But you wanted to go darker? No, that's probably all right. That's all right. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to the next phase. So, the recipe calls to add the onion. The celery. The green pepper and the green onion. While stirring. <laughs> now you got this. And of course, there's a helicopter we live close to a hospital, so the helicopter you hear in the background is a uh, Metaflight. Okay. That's, which one's that? Green onion. Oh. Green onion, celery, and... Sorry, green pepper, celery, not there you green go. onion. Alright, now it says to mix all that together and stir for five minutes. 
Let's see how it's looking so far. Not so bad. Not so dang. It smells awful good. We don't have a real big uh, pot. Yeah, we might be in trouble when it goes to adding eight cups of water into that. Well, we'll Holy frioli. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> We're going to have to get a big gumbo pot. Okay, it's been five minutes. Uh, the next step on our recipe calls to add the chicken broth. Um, in our case, Chrissy here is a vegetarian, and we're using vegetable broth. We would have fish. Oh, she's okay. She's pescatarian. She eats fish. We would have used seafood broth, but our local store didn't have any, so we're using vegetable broth. So it says to add the broth, uh, the water, the okra, the paprika, the salt, the oregano, and the pepper, and bring it to a boil. Oh my gosh, you gotta have, that's only half the water. Yeah. We might be in trouble. I don't think our pot's big enough. I don't think our pot's big enough. We're just gonna have to go less water, see if it works. Oh man. That's just gonna concentrate the flavor though, I think. Probably. I guess we'll soon find out. We're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have to try it. It calls okay. for eight Paprika. cups of water. Yeah. Oregano. Oregano, salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, that flavor is going to be crazy. So we're basically making a concentrate. No, we're not. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, well, just so everybody knows, this recipe calls for eight cups of water and this pot only fit four. <laughs> so we'll see. If we, if, we, if we end up liking this, we will be investing in a better pot. That's for sure. Yeah, we need a... What do they call these pots anyway? It's not a crock pot. Dutch oven. Oh, Dutch oven. And this really isn't a Dutch oven. This is more like just a big giant sauce pot. The water, the okra, the paprika, the salt. Yeah, okay. So, gotta bring the... The less water. The less water is gonna make it thick. Did you know how... Okra gets? Everybody knows what okra does. So now bring it up to a boil. Then we reduce the heat with that simmer covered for 10 minutes. Okay, we brought it to a boil, and we let it simmer for 10 minutes, and now we're going to, uh, ooh, getting ahead of me there. Now we're going to add the shrimp, and add the, Whoa. and the lump crab meat, <laughs> and, getting... <laughs> we're getting, Whoa. yeah, we're pushing it. Yeah, there's a lesson to be learned here. Uh, read the instructions better when you <laughs> when you see a recipe. Well, we didn't have a bigger pot anyway, this, so... I know. I, well, I, we could have knocked it down a little bit, the recipe. <clears throat> okay, so, add par parsley? Yeah, and add the parsley. And then now we let it simmer uncovered for about five minutes more, or until the seafood is done. Let it simmer for 10 more minutes. Okay, now we've let it simmer uncovered for 10 minutes, and we're putting in the, uh, how much are we supposed to put in? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of Creole seasoning. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stir it in and then we'll plate it up. <coughs> and this is the finished product. We put it over rice. I added sausage because this one is mine. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. We tasted it before we put it in there and it tastes pretty damn good too, so. Okay, you wanna take a bite? Sure. Yeah. You get a little of everything, a little okra. Is that okra? What is that? Okra or onion. You think it needs anything? No, I don't. I thought it was going to be like, oh, too, too seasoned because mm -hmm. we, we were short on water. It's really good. Flavors are just more concentrated? Maybe? No? I think if we had had more water, it would have I watered it down a bit more. It's yeah. It's really good. Here's the okra. And the rice.
Well, hot. <laughs> Don't burn your mouth. That's good. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. We made ourselves some gumbo tonight. It took quite a while. How long would you say it took? Uh, the rule alone took about 40 minutes. Yeah. It took about two or two and a half hours, maybe, to make this. We probably could have made it go a little faster if we had put it in a pressure cooker, oh, yeah. which I have an Instant Pot. There's an Instant Pot recipe for gumbo. Or maybe even a crock pot. So we might try that method next time. Okay. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time. Oh, hey. Like and subscribe. Thank you.